Hi there. Uh, this week's Ask Tina K was a very, very long one, so I've had to cut it to fit the time allowed. So it's basically from uh, <coughs> a lady, she's a non-national, married to an Irish man, they're both in their 40s, and he had a daughter from a previous marriage or relationship who was five when they met. And uh, this lady said, you know, uh, she would not be willing to have a child unless they were married. But uh, also, you know, she realized that taking on a stepdaughter uh, can be problematic at times, but he assured her that uh, the step stepdaughter would only be with them one day a week. Uh, she would be living with her mother and that was fine. Anyway, they got married seven years ago, but in that time the girl has grown up and uh, she now comes to stay with them two days a week and uh, she has become very, very sullen. She stays on her phone the whole time, uh, hardly speaks to this lady at all. Now this lady uh, splits the bills absolutely 50-50 with her husband and uh, over the last while they've been having a lot of arguments. This girl goes on holidays with them and uh, you know they went to New York a while ago and uh, to stay with friends but they had booked one night in a very exclusive expensive hotel in the city to see the nightlife. The daughter came with them and at eight o'clock said she'd had enough. She wanted to go back to bed in the hotel. So the whole evening came to an abrupt end and they had to go back and sit in the hotel. Needless to say, there was an argument. Why did we book this expensive hotel when we were going to be back in it at eight o'clock in the evening and not see any of the nightlife? Anyway, it, got, it went on and on and on. Um, she has, uh, things got really bad uh, about a year ago. She asked for a divorce. He has put his hands on her. Nothing dreadful has happened as yet. But anyway, she's asking me what I think about the whole situation. I think, uh, regardless of what you've told me about your situation um, and who is right or wrong, this is not a happy, normal relationship uh, from any angle. Uh, it's right for a parent to take their child into account. I'm glad to hear he does that. Uh, you know, uh, parents should keep their children happy, but not at the cost of everyone else. Now, you in your uh, email said that this girl self-harms and that you have spoken to your husband about it and asked him to speak to his ex-wife about getting her treatment, but nothing has been done about this. This poor girl is very unwell. She does need a serious medical intervention, mental health, physical, whatever. Yeah, she definitely needs that. Uh, the fact that he allows her to call the shots all the time as to when, you know, you, you where you go, what you do, that she has to come along. She's 17 now, apparently. And uh, it's uh, this is a, the, not a good basis for a marriage. Um, now, you said that you had been trying to have a baby and you went to an infertility clinic. You told him all ab you know, about the times when you were going for the results. And when the time came and you asked him, you know, are you ready, we're going? He said, no, you hadn't told him. And no, he couldn't go along. He didn't have the time. I mean, that is incredibly bad. You know, he is not taking your wants and needs into consideration at all. I mean, you must have both had to go to the infertility clinic in the first place. And the fact that he wouldn't even go for the results is, that is really, really bad. Um, you know, you don't have a child, he does have a daughter. And as you said to me, you feel that because he has a daughter, he's not interested in having another child. And I suppose if the child he has is a problem, well, yes, I, I, I can see how he might be reticent to go through all that again. The thing is, you are both now in your 40s. So time is running out for you if you want to have another child. Uh, I would sincerely suggest not 
having a child with this man if he has become even mildly physical with you and you are arguing all the time you know you rented a bigger apartment so that his daughter would have a room now she only stays one night a week two days one night but if you and he have had an argument and you want to go to this other bedroom uh, he says you're not allowed because it's his daughter's room and yet you are paying exactly 50 percent of all the bills of everything so i think um you know it's a huge step but Things are deteriorating. They are not getting any better. There's no light at the end of the tunnel. As you say, you're a happy, bubbly person with your family and friends, just not with him and his daughter anymore. So you are going to have to think seriously about what you're going to do before it's too late. Um, you know, I wish this could go on longer, but the video's running out of time. But Think, I, I think you're on a hiding to nothing staying here. He is always going to take his daughter's side. You are a second class citizen as far as he's concerned. And uh, he doesn't take into consideration what you want or need. So for you going forward, you're not happy. I'd seriously look at, you know, you don't look forward to him coming in in the evening. None of those things. So... No, I, I would seriously think about moving on and making a life for yourself. You're still young and you could make a very nice life for yourself if you feel you can manage to do that. Anyway, I hope this has been of some help. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. And um, if you want to write in, it's asktinak at gmail.com. Thanks a million for watching. Bye bye.